But huh. uh, the gang setup is definitely going to be there. For Keen, no Cassante, no Rumble. That's not something that we're going to be super excited about. I was looking if uh, if he wanted to play something like uh, Camille, something that can actually match. It's generally a poor move. Who would do that? I don't know. Some idiot. Let's uh, get into game number two. Expect the Gen G lanes. Bot, bot lane, we'll have to see. I think that more depends on jungle intervention, but definitely do their very best, as uh, Keen is already showing here. Their level one, obviously, insanely strong. Very yep. obnoxious. A bit of circling going on here, as Pure Shake already down to 50%. Uh, sub up. As uh, with the Counter Strike, we'll be able to at least stun up Keen momentarily. Keen looks like he is about zero bothered by the whole situation as they all just wanted to lane now. So keen playing to that, to this level, I think is a really good sign as, uh, oh, he snuck through. Yeah, looks like KT kind of knew what was going on here. Still, they have to blow the heal as Beryl gets the flash off just in time. That rocket grab perfectly placed by Lahens because you just kill these camps incredibly fast. As Beryl is going to get hooked and they had it backed. And he's not going to be out of heal. He does manage to get himself the shield, but that is once again first blood. This time, no canyon required for the secondary portion. And that's going to mean that he is even more susceptible. Beryl still with 50% of his cooldown remaining on his flash. And so there is a lot for canyon to get done here as he's looking to start off this dragon. Uh, there's, there's nothing you can do. Realistically, like now deft doesn't have his flash, meaning that the all-in pressure of this Genji bot lane is going to be way stronger. And Canyon, one of the big weaknesses that I do think you have with the Zyra is obviously, if you fall behind in tempo, I think the pick is really hard to play, right? If you start getting invaded, if you're getting pressured, this is the, look at the prio they have in their lanes! Yeah, and uh, BDD is trying to rotate over as Keen is just wandering through the enemy jungle. What is going on? Is he gonna? I was about to say, is he like, if he does that and then runs bot and ganks up against BDD here, as there's Hex Flash and Lahens, gonna get slowed down momentarily, doesn't quite find that hook. As now Deft able to avoid the Extendo Beam, ulti from Pays. Beryl doesn't have his available, nor does Deft. They do want to be able to kill a minion or two to try and get level six, as now Pays gonna get turned on. Still level five to level six from Pays, but. In comes Canyon, there's the flash. Doesn't manage to get too much, but there is the hook from the hands to lock down the kill for Pays once again. See where he needs it though, as this big wave is stacking up and death. Um, oh no, the grasping roots will connect, but Goshik, he'll turn up immediately to get knocked up into the sky. Canyon locks down that first kill and there's a hook once more. KT, it looked rough in game one. It is looking absurdly difficult here in uh, game number two. Oh man, all right, Lens, can he find the hook? Will he need to find the hook, I guess, is the question. As Pyoshik is going to flash it, but still has to invest it. And Keen is still doing ridiculous things on the other side of the map. Trophy's Trophy, and Genji. I mean, this is just a much cleaner version than game one, right? Who have done a damage to a turret here, is now BD fighting against Trophy, but Canyon, he shows up. Goshik in the area, he'll find a Glacial Prison this time, they get the knock-up, ulti comes through as well. Can they kill Canyon? The answer is yes, as it's the arrow landing from downtown that collects it. And so Deft is on the board. He may immediately get punished as the hook goes completely wide. Deft still having the flash available as he uses it when he doesn't have to. So there we are, they deserved the flash, I guess is how it works. That's so funny to me. I know, isn't that crazy that Trovi would be super far ahead in gold? So. He, he still was first striking it up, right? That's like first strike, as well as global gold, as well as his Hell call. Finished, yep. Yeah. Because he hasn't actually been involved <laughs> on the map just yet. Herald comes down. Feels like everyone is playing it a lot cleaner this time. Indeed. This time, Keen able to move in. He's going to play that front line. They managed to get the charge. It was Lehens. And Lehens is going to dive back in again. Use Shelly as a little bit of a speed boost, moving down towards that bottom side. Look at that, Drift King. Clipping through the walls and may just die, but it was very cool drifting, Lehens. Really nicely done. Ah, look Love at his that. Face. 
Look at his face! Yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the most Lahens moments. That that's is the most Rift Herald moment we've MSI had. That's your MSI Finals MVP oh, right there! yeah. So they do now actually have a decent idea of where everyone is. Space does finish his Runons. All right. There's the Grasping Roots. Pyoshik going to get knocked up as Canyon offering a bit of damage back. Does have his Leandris, but isn't actually uh, that's fully complete as BDD finds a knock up on Keen. It's probably not a battle that BDD is all that capable of winning as Keen is going to circle up and walk towards him as the Udia loves to do. Chovy looking to make his way over. Pyoshik using the walk tactic very nicely, but so is Keen and his does some damage. Yoshi gonna have to get out of there. Permafrost does come on through. There's the ulti, but Pays just dodges out of the way. And BDD not gonna have that for this next fight. Now Lahan's moving down, wanting to find that rocket grab. We'll see whether he can get it. His flashes abound. And that is another one. The ulti just gonna pick it up. Speaking of ultis, Lahan's uses his circle as well. The bottom lane is eviscerated, and Genji never even really need to go for too much of a fight because KT were already on the ground. And then Lahan's just flash shot. <laughs> Oh, here we this go. This is the replay. This is the replay that we have to be watching here as he's concentrating. He's concentrating. He's oh. like, wait a second. Ah. 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 This man has had to deal with Lahenz's shenanigans for like uh, a year and a half now, Atlas. Oh man, pretty well uh, towards the end. 100% kill contribution this time around. Pays not uh, anywhere near having the performance from game one. It is very clean. As perfect is just getting chased down by the Udia. And this reminds me of the original Udia, you know? Like, yeah. Is that what we have a play here? Do we think Yoshik will survive is the question. As Keen is walking in amongst three people, it looks like he does not care. Yoshik gets the wild growth. Will be able to get out of there. They sacrifice a fair bit of their health bars. Decent knock up from B to D as well. On to Chovy. As perfect. Grouped up with the team. And uh, you were talking about item spikes. Chovy's hit a few of them now. He's 3,000 gold ahead. Perfect is probably dead here as who does manage to sidestep that one quite nicely but the knockup still does come through and Pei's gonna lock up his fourth we'll see kt can maybe get some exit kills maybe get a hill mary team fight all right there's a glacial prison as Pyoshik tries to find it the arrow goes entirely wide though unfortunately redemption is not going to be found in this game as the extendo beam is gonna force the ultimate out of bdd he's running away with about 400 health and Pyoshik. He is a bit Owen Wilson, but I just don't think that's going to be the answer here as Keane, he's even going to look for him. Does not want to risk any sort of uh, of response. As, yeah, Lahens over the wall, Chovy over the wall. And uh, there is the hook. That's going to connect. Chovy's going to lock it up with a rocket. And so there it is. It's just ridiculous. And they still have more in the tank, right? Canyon still with the Stranglethorns available as there is the Grasping Roots. He throws down that ultimate like I was talking about. And perfect, he has to get wild growth, but he's still taking so much damage. The hook is going to be avoided, so he'll be able to make it back to the fountain. But after they get their health bars back, where does the good news start for KT in this game? There's no good news, Atlas. We both know that. Yeah, it is. It's not happening. It's rocks and hard places, as we do like to talk about here in the LCK. And KT desperately trying to hold on, but it is just not going to walk. work. It's 14,000 gold. Trovi walks at depth and Deft could do nothing about it as the rockets rain down. Nexus Terra 1 will fall down, Nexus 2 sure to follow, and Genji just looking for a few extra kills as they melt them on their fountain. The MSI champions just toying with KT here, the only team that's been able to beat them in a best of series this year, and it did not happen in the first round Robin of summer. That's absolutely for sure. Those damage numbers, as it were. Um, this time, Trovi, I mean, last time around, he did double BDD's damage. He really wanted to do triple BDD's damage in uh, game number two. 